Coming back to the footboards, this is something I am personally proud of. Hello guys! So I've just finished a little setup over here and I thought while taking a few pictures it's for me it's so gorgeous to look at that I yeah want to take the opportunity and make a little video about it show you the setup as well because for me it's yeah, more or less rare having a full setup here with a double pedal a hi-hat and a remote hi-hat and maybe on the go I will also add in some additional useless or useful information who knows so long story short let me grab this camera here and show you the whole setup so basically right flipping the mirror or the mirror the screen around this is it so obviously as i've told you to the left we have a darwin ftw hi-hat stand in the middle there's a darwin ftw double pedal a right-handed double pedal and to the to the full wide we have a Darwin FTW remote hi-hat stand. So one thing I got asked a few times is if it's possible to convert the double pedal into uh, two single pedals and this is yes this is the case. So the slave pedal is additionally also a full grown uh, Darwin single pedal basically having everything, a hoop clamp, all the setups, all the cams necessary to be yeah, a full grown individual single pedal as well. So basically all you need to do to convert it move, is to move this beta into this beta cam over here and remove the drive shift. That's it. The spring is already located on the left side and you're good to go. A few uh, customers just like if they have a small gig playing this with a single pedal they just leave their main pedal on the kit, take the slave pedal off the kit, put it in the backpack and just yeah go to their gig. Um, so that's a cool feature I assume. Besides that um, a cool additional feature I'm now able to show you a little bit more clearly is that it's possible to rotate the, the legs um, of the of the um, hi-hat stand just individual because usually with a two leg hi-hat stand it's a little bit easier but with having a three leg hi-hat stand and a double pedal it can get close in this area here so all you need to do in order to rotate the legs um, is to loosen this nut over here which connects the entire setup here allowing the hi-hat stand to fold together and basically once this is loosened you can swing the legs to the left or to the right freely just allowing having a little bit more of additional clearance over here while still be able to have the both footboards as close together as possible and once you have found your, your location just tighten this nut again and everything is settled the spring tension adjustment on the hi-hat and on the remote hi-hat is over here. Basically just moving this slider block up and down. You find the very same adjustment here on the remote hi-hat. And coming back to the footboards, this is something I am personally proud of it without any reason. But the Darwin double pedal is more or less symmetrically besides the beaters. So you have a dedicated right pedal and the dedicated left pedal. So more or less these pedals are mirrored to each other having the, the main pillar on the slave pedal or in this left slave pedal on the right and on the main pedal to the left allowing some more additional clear, clearance to the outside. But also the footboards are always the same um, on the Darwin bass drum pedal and on the hi-hat stand. So regardless if it's a short board or a long board um, on the hi-hat and on the bass drum pedal, both are using the very same footboard, which just adds, I assume, just a little bit more clearance or cleanless, not clearance, cleanless to the entire setup. And it took me a while to figure out how to do this, but in the end I managed it and I don't know if I'm the only one thinking that this is cool or not, just let me know. I just thought I probably should mention it. Um, besides that, 
Oh yeah, the um, symbol adapter on the remote hi-hat. Let me go around here. So I have added this symbol adapter for the remote hi-hat for the top unit a while ago. And basically it just allows you to use the remote hi-hat in combination with a regular symbol arm or symbol stand. Just put the top unit into the symbol mount and having a more or less um, yeah, individual placeable setup. Or people have asked me how stable this whole setup is and it honestly always and completely depends on your symbol stand or on your symbol arm. On my video about the remote hat, I've used a super long um, symbol arm coming from here until yeah, more or less halfway of the table. And this was super bouncy because you need to imagine that the, these two symbols um, or the top symbol isn't that light and you have basically uh, quite a heavy weight moving up and down and this will influence everything else. So in this case this setup is quite stable but if you have a long arm or a flimsy symbol stand you will have maybe you will have some problems in terms of stability. Besides that, this is, I assume, the simplest and easiest solution to mount a remote hi-hat to a setup because no additional clamps are necessary. Um, the remote hi-hat, or this the simple adapter, usually fits on all simple stands um, without any additional modifications. On this DW simple arm, I think it's a, no, it's, it's a, it's a Chiba symbol arm. I figured out that this plastic part is too big. So I would need to forcefully fit it over, but basically I can just take it off and mount it without it. There's a huge gap now, so you can see this is not stable at all. But if I just add this nut, there's a, there's, a, there's a chamfer over here where the screw can sit in. So when I tighten this, everything gets centered. And I don't need to add much tension over here, but basically since this is a cone and here's a cone as well sitting in the hole, everything is super steady now and cannot move anywhere. So I think there's not that much to worry about. As usual, if you have any questions, um, if I haven't covered anything in any videos or whatever, just feel free to reach out to me. The best way usually is to just write me an email or browse to my website, browse through my website. Um, regardless of what you do, just let me know if there's anything I can do. And with that being said, I think, yeah, have a nice day and see you soon. Cheers.